Hey pages and sages, I'm feeling pumped up today. Like very pumped. Pumped. Hey everybody, my name is John and welcome to ADITW, a day in the word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Friends, enemies, frenemies. Today, we're talking about all of them. Let's read James chapter four, verses one through four. So here, James begins by addressing the hypocrisy he sees among believers. He describes a people who are taking matters into their own hands in order to get what they want. I never do that. It's all in his hands. And this path of trying to control things ourselves ultimately leads to sin and death. The other option, of course, is to learn to rely on God alone and to submit to his will. That sounds more like me. James here is highlighting two different courses that we can take in life, the way of the world and the way of God. And then in verse four, James tells us that being a friend of God means we are enemies with the world and vice versa. Now, in order for us to properly understand this verse, it's important that we understand what exactly James means when he says, the world. When this passage says the world, the writer is talking about patterns of human life that are contrary to God's will. This is not necessarily referring to our relationships with other people in the world. This isn't even necessarily talking about our stuff. It is about a way of thinking and living that is opposed to the ways of God. And if you take a minute and think about it, there are ways of the world that we follow without even knowing it. When we give in to the temptation to gossip or speak unfairly about someone behind their back, when we believe that a boyfriend or girlfriend needs to have sex with us or prove their love in a physical way in order to really love us. When we use absolutely no discernment in what we watch online or what we listen to. When we choose to do something just because we're afraid of missing out. Not because we've really asked the question, is doing this going to help me move forward in my faith? If you think about it, there are these unwritten rules of the world that are contrary to the written rules of God. And so, because these two ways are opposites, it's pretty obvious that we can't be friends with both. Because they are in opposition, to be friends with one automatically makes us an enemy of the other. And James here is challenging us to choose between these two ways. Friendship with the ways of the world or friendship with the ways of God. And our decision is incredibly important. No, duh. Wouldn't have made a video about it otherwise. But if we take a second and look at our lives, I hope you begin to see that your friendship determines your following. If you fall in love with the unwritten rules of the world, then you will begin to follow and live by those rules. But on the other hand, if you learn to fall in love with the written rules of God as communicated in scripture, then you will begin to follow him. Your friendship determines your following. And the reason that this decision is so important is because as we talked about earlier, those unwritten rules of the world, they lead to death. But the written rules of God ultimately lead to life. Friendship with the world, as comfortable and as easy and as accepted as it may be, does not lead us to the type of life that God desires for us. In fact, it often leads to no life at all. When we follow the ways of the world, we will not be led into life. And your friendship determines your following. And your following determines whether you will flourish or fall. Who you choose to follow determines whether you are being led towards life or towards death. And so the decision is really this. Will you choose to live by the unwritten rules of the world or by the written rules of God? Will you live your life based on what others do or based on what God says? Will you allow yourself to continually be carried on by the current of our culture? Will you continue to hang out with that group of friends even though you know you're not at all comfortable with the things they choose to do? Will you continue to look at those websites on your phone because someone told you, 
Every guy does it. Will you keep treating church or your relationship with God as just another thing to check off the list? Or will you simply submit yourself to God? Will you submit yourself to learning his way in scripture and living his way in every area of your life? Hey friends, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to take a quick second before you go to let you know that today's show is brought to you by Audible. Why Audible? Because Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from the leading audiobook publishers, broadcasters, and entertainers. For me, I, I used to read a ton of fiction when I was growing up, and thanks to audiobooks, I've gotten back into fiction, whether it's on long runs or whether it's on road trips. In fact, Sweet Bear and I, we just did a giant road trip down to South Carolina and back, and each way we listened to a Lisa Jewell audiobook. If you're into suspense novels, I highly recommend Lisa Jewell. But of course, with your free trial, you can choose whatever book you want, and your first book is free. That's right, Audible is offering viewers of this show a free trial and a free book with that free trial. All you have to do is go to audibletrial.com slash Jorgensen and you can sign up, get your free book, and you can start listening today. Once again, that's audibletrial.com slash Jorgensen. Also, as always, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to our supporters on Patreon. If you are interested in helping support this ministry, this channel, in a financial way, for as little as a dollar a month, you can simply visit the Patreon link in the description down below. That's all I have for you guys. I love you all. Keep being awesome.